Live at 5 in Tuscaloosa County, we have a closer look tonight at how their law enforcement is working to get help for victims of sex trafficking. You know, they're investigating brand, a brand new case this week. Investigators with the West Alabama Human Trafficking Task Force saying they've charged this man, 31-year-old Cedric Spencer Jr. with human trafficking. Our Brian Henry joins us live from Tuscaloosa County. Brian, what kind of help is there for these victims of human trafficking? Well, Sarah and Jonathan, the first thing investigators do is interview the victims and give them the resources they need right now, right then and there to begin their long-term recovery. Police say they work hand in hand with several volunteer organizations that specifically work with sex trafficking victims. The resources range from drug and alcohol rehab to recovery programs that deal directly with trauma. This is never an easy fix, according to Captain Phil Simpson. Trauma actually changes the way the brain works. There's a lot of research to that. And so we see a lot of trauma bond between uh, often the trafficking victim and the trafficker. And so that is the first obstacle that we have to overcome is that person has been providing their, their sole source of existence, controlling their movements for so long that they become dependent on them Captain Phil Simpson says they often make sex trafficking arrests here in Tuscaloosa because there are two major interstates here, plus an active entertainment district. In Tuscaloosa, Brian Henry, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.